It's Madden NFL 23, and it's presented by EA Sports. It's the Fins and the Silver and Black, and it's all up next. Well, there's never a shortage of shows or sights and sounds throughout this city, but for the next few hours, all eyes are glued to Allegiant Stadium here in Las Vegas. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Las Vegas Raiders. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me, as always, Charles Davis and Charles Brandon Gordon alongside, as always, my partner Charles Davis and CD. In the few moments here before kickoff, let's give these folks at home a look at these two offenses by the numbers. What, what stands out to you? Brandon, I just continue to be amazed by the analytics of the game, and it's an area where I continue to concentrate and study because I'm still trying to figure out how coaches and coordinators can really crunch the numbers and find where exactly on the field the defense is vulnerable. It's the game within the game. And if you really dive into it, it can be endlessly fascinating. That is the Raiders take over on offense. We get to see the man who has been the leader of this team for nine seasons now under center Derek Carr. In the midst of a tumultuous 2021 season, the Las Vegas Raiders really turned to their quarterback, Derek Carr, to not only drive their offense, leading to career high totals from the eighth year passer in a nearly 5,000 yard season throwing the football but also his leadership ability. He really grabbed that team and led them to the playoffs for the second time in his career while coming out one of the toughest divisions in football. Give the sack to Jerome Baker. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, this time it's gonna come from the middle linebacker because watching the linemen, it seemed to me that they thought he was going to drop back into pass protection, but he surprised them and came on the blitz instead and had a pretty clear run to the quarterback. So a tough early challenge here, second and long after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Carr, he gets this to Devontae Adams. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. As they've got it with a third down coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To throw his car. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. To throw its car. And that's complete to Adams. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Offense. Colton Miller, former first-round pick, called for the penalty Over there. Down. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Here's Carr. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for Nock. The result, only four yards there on the play, and it'll be second down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. Again, they'll throw with Carr. A pass complete downfield to Renfro. 
And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 44-yard line. Now the Raiders are going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. And now the common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Carr again here on second and ten. Man open is Keelan Cole complete. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. And how about this first drive? They're being aggressive, slinging it around. Really confident, too, because they're not trying to fool them with running plays, throwing it, and they're being very successful right now. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. seconds left not really enough time to run another play and then stop it so on comes the field goal unit that's running out of steam and it won't get there he left it just short no good and this will remain a scoreless game partner doesn't seem like it but that's a tough spot for a kicker first drive of the game and they're calling on him he should be warmed up he should be into the game but sometimes it's almost like, oh, what, now already? Can't they put it in the end zone? What's going on here? Yeah, he's probably saying, if you can't get it in the end zone, can you give me a 30, 40-yarder? <laughs> a long one, and he can't connect. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Tua, the final shot before half. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. So plenty of action on the field, but no action right now on the scoreboard, at least as of yet. Nothing, nothing is our score. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Half. Apologies to Coach. Cut him short. We'll talk to him post game. We got business to get down to. Third quarter action, ready to go. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Turns this to the 22. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless, as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. First and 10, and kind of tipping their hand at running the ball. Three tight ends are out there. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, Seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. 
So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Tua going to tap this forward on the jet sweep. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. That doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, a nice consistent gain. And that's going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. As we're about ready to rock and roll for the fourth and final quarter. Meanwhile, Tua's throw is taken in by Waddle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Give him 15 yards on that one, and the Dolphins have a first down. The Dolphins moving with a sense of urgency here. Two and a throw. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Now a first down carry, it's Michelle. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They go back to the ground, this time Moster. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so he'll be third and about the length of the football. <laughs> Got a quick flash about being in their huddle. Whatever the play call was, it was tagged with these words. Make sure you stay in the middle of the field. That's where we want to be. And he did just that. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuffed to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But you know what they say, 